Good afternoon. Again, my name is uh, Joe Alioto Veronese. I am um, the co-chair of the San Francisco Assisi Sister City Committee. Um, back in the 1960s, when my, mayor, when my grandfather, Mayor Joe Alioto, uh, was mayor of the city, he began this sister city relationship with the city of Assisi. Um, and since that time, um, we have gifted uh, the, the front entrance to the city of Assisi in 1969. And today, we are very fortunate to be here to receive one of the most important gifts San Francisco has ever received from the city of Assisi. And you will hear from its mayor uh, very shortly. Um, uh, thank you to uh, Mayor Gavin Newsom, um, Mayor Willie Brown, who I know is here as well, uh, Mayor um, uh, Ricci, and Mayor Cicchini from Città di Castello and the city of Assisi. Um, Mayor, Brown, Mayor uh, Newsom, thank you for making me co-chair of the Sister City C Committee so that we, we can continue this relationship with the country of Italy and the city of Assisi, which is so important to us. Uh, in our namesake, uh, uh, St. Francis here in San Francisco. Uh, I want to introduce to you someone who is very special to this city, uh, served this city very well in his capacity as Archbishop uh, just, just two and a half years ago, I believe, um, when I was uh, chosen by uh, Mayor Newsom to take the interfaith uh, group of leaders here in San Francisco to uh, the city of Rome, the amazing city of Rome, to celebrate the consistory of uh, uh, then Archbishop uh, uh, Leveda, it was truly an amazing event. It was an event that brought together all of the religious leaders, which is really what St. Francis is about, um, bringing together all people. And we celebrated uh, Cardinal Leveda's consistory in Rome. And since we have lost the Cardinal uh, to the city of Rome and to the Vatican, uh, what has been very clear throughout the construction of the Portzuncola is that he remains here, his heart has remained here, and we certainly have a friend in the Vatican. Um, and so I, if, if I could get you all to put together uh, your hands for an amazing man whose heart is still here in San Francisco, but whose body is in Rome, the, uh, His Eminence, Cardinal William Joseph Leveda. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Joe. Mayor Newsom, citizens of San Francisco, members of the Archdiocese of San Francisco, and dear visitors and guests, uh, I have uh, spoken already, so I'm not going to repeat my remarks about indulgences or the uh, welcome to people who are here, they remain uh, sincere and, uh, and I hope uh, useful remarks on this occasion. I only have one additional point that I want to make that I think is pertinent to the, uh, the occasion of today. Uh, the Shrine Committee has made uh, a lot of, um, paid a lot of attention to the gift of a very special rock from the Portiuncola in Assisi. It came over, flew over with the Franciscan friars. It was shown off in the de Young Museum. It is going to be a featured point of this uh, Portiuncola chapel. Uh, when I first came here as Archbishop of San Francisco, it was only a year later that uh, Assisi had a major earthquake in which the uh, basilica, which houses the tomb of St. Uh, of St. Francis and is, or, is decorated with some of the most splendid um, uh, examples of medieval Italian art by uh, Giotto and Cimabue. Many of the frescoes were damaged and the mosaics fell to the floor. I thought to myself, uh, this is a city that has known many, many earthquakes. We, in 1906, we had an earthquake that destroyed much of the city. In 1989, another, the Loma Prieta earthquake caused damage to many parts of our city and especially to these old churches, the Catholic churches, many of which have been, uh, have been restored with new bracing to uh, upgrade them to current uh, city and county codes, some of them still on the way to being restored. This, this church has some, uh, so, still some uh, uh, upgrading to be done to make it an entirely earthquake uh, up to code church. 
But I thought to myself, and the, and the church was closed because in the pastoral plan my predecessor put into place, it was felt that uh, it would be impossible to restore all of the churches. And so they picked out those that, were, that seemed to be most useful to the worshiping community. And I came and I thought to myself, uh, knowing this historic, the history of this church, this was the first church in the town that became San Francisco. The mission had already been established from the time of 1776, the same year as the founding of our country. But that was miles out of town on the slopes of Twin Peak. And when, the, when gold was discovered and this uh, port began to fill up with people, uh, this uh, was the first church established. And its, its history, I think, uh, needed to be recognized and we needed to find a way to keep it a vital part of our city uh, going forward. So in that sense, we, th we thought of making a shrine of St. Francis, uh, our patron is St. Francis after all, and to uh, not to reopen it as another parish church, but as a shrine church that could be a benefit for pilgrims. Indeed, all of the missions that attract so many visitors, the Catholic missions over the years, this is kind of like a, uh, uh, a capstone for the missions because it leads people who visit the missions from that outreach of the Franciscans to found uh, these missions up and down California, it leads them to uh, the, the man who was the spiritual father and the motive force for those missions, that is their founder, St. Francis. So I hope in this sense that that rock that comes from the Port Siuncula, uh, that it can keep, keep this connection, which I take it is an earthquake connection as well. We took up a collection in all of the parishes of our archdiocese, and we were astonished by the uh, se several hundred thousand dollars that people generously gave uh, to uh, the people of Assisi f for their needs. And I took that collection over to Assisi and uh, uh, gave some of it to the uh, Basilica. We didn't have to restore the artworks. The Italian government took care of that restoration, the Belliarti of the Italian government. But uh, we gave it to the uh, Bishop of Assisi who had people living out in these little tent houses. They couldn't go back into their own homes. He had a, uh, a, a home for handicapped children, which was out of its building. And he said, oh, this is wonderful. We can use this so well right away. So we contributed on that occasion as a kind of uh, um, concrete act of our sister city relationship that seems to me uh, can, can now continue with this new, uh, this new link that we have with the uh, city of St. Francis Assisi and with the great sanctuary of the Porzioncola. So I'm very delighted to be with all of you on this occasion and I thank you and I know you'll be hearing from the mayors of uh, Assisi and uh, perhaps Città di Castello and from the artisans uh, whose spectacular work has allowed us to have this, uh, this uh, wonderful model, this replica of the Porzioncola here for our own uh, inspiration and our devotion and hopefully our commitment to the charity and peace that were some, so much a part of the life and the work of St. Francis of Assisi. All I can say to you as I prepare to return to Rome tomorrow, God bless you, and it's wonderful to see you again.